Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to um, another beautiful day here in Moscow. Uh, today it's pretty humid and it's pretty hot, so I'm, as you might be able to tell, I'm so sweaty already uh, before even shooting the episode. So the idea today for today is um, I'm here, directly behind me is the, the um, wall to the Kremlin. So I'm sitting here right now and the idea is to cross the bridge over here to see what's on the other side and maybe take some photos. And the camera that I will be using today as the Hasselblad x -Pen. and the film I'm going to shoot today is a film I've never shot before actually and it's this one here it's a Kodak Pro Image 100 I've heard good things about it and I'm going to push it uh, but more on that later so yeah and also settings and stuff all right guys I would say without further ado um, Hasselblad x -Pen, Moscow Pro Image 100 let's go Developing and scanning was kindly provided by Carmen Sita Film Lab. If you want to check them out, the link will be in the description box down below. One thing I've noticed after receiving the scans from Carmen Sita is how the colors turned out. They are more muted compared to other Kodak stocks that I'm familiar with, but I have to say that Pro Image 100 has beautiful tones. Not sure how it looks without pushing, but it's definitely a film I will happily shoot again in the future. I spotted this couple standing under a tree and I knew I had to get that shot. <laughs> Looks like he spotted me. <laughs> That's why he was laughing. All right guys, I'm here. I think it's, uh, it's Gorky Park. Uh, it's actually pretty cool, it's really nice. Uh, but it's so hot, man. <laughs> I'm sweating so much. And the thing is with this uh, harness here, uh, the chest mount, man, it's plastic. So go figure uh, how I, my shirt looks now. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Um, yeah, let me quickly run you through the settings that I'm using. Um, I'm shooting at aperture priority, mostly f4, maybe sometimes f5.6, f8. But most of the time at f4, I'm using, yeah, for most shots, zone focusing basically. Or if I have the time, I will focus uh, through the using the, um, the rangefinder patch. Uh, other than that, um, the film will be shot at box speed 100, but then pushed to uh, 200. To because I've heard that um, it's a pretty flat film. I've ne have never shot before, so I have no experience. But so far, what from what I've heard, it's very flat looking. And apparently, when you push it one stop, you will get really good results. So that's why I'm pushing it one stop, and it gives me a little bit more speed or a little bit more light. Uh, not much, but it's more for the looks, not the speed. So yeah, I would say let's continue here in Gorky Park and see what's going on here. I feel like a little in the veins of uh, uh, bald and bankrupt, if you know a guy, because of these uh, Soviet things here. Interesting. Okay, 
let's uh, get a shot with uh, Stalin and then we um, maybe some people walking by. Oh, I don't speak Russian, sorry. Oh, it's, uh, it's okay. It's installation from our um, uh, volunteers. It's about it's seven stories about um, kids' death. Okay. Uh, how they dying when um, run away from parents and oh, okay. water or when some stranger okay. call a young girl. The guy was kind enough to explain to me what this installation was all about. And even though it was really heartbreaking to hear, I think it is really important to tell the stories of the ones that don't have a voice. guys uh, it's pretty amazing yeah I'm not sure if the first part that I showed you is actually Goki Park but this surely is here um, yeah it's pretty busy and it's really nice actually uh, much nicer than expected so yeah I think I will continue shooting here hopefully the Sun will come out uh, a little bit later again and I mean I don't know the winds picking up and it felt like there might be a thunderstorm coming hopefully not because uh, that would be awful <laughs> that would pretty much ruin it but yeah, let's see. Fingers crossed uh, the weather will get better and I will continue shooting. I think with the lighting, comes, the sun comes out a little bit later and it's a little bit lower than now. I think it might be a really nice shooting here. So yeah, let's continue. <laughs> What a great afternoon of shooting in Moscow. Gorky Park is lovely and definitely worth a visit.
8. All right, guys, don't forget to check out my street photography zines. That helps out the channel and allows me to make more videos like this in the future. And now let's see what my favorite shots from this episode are. That's it for today's episode. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future. See you in the next one. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.